Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing is proud to present this World Championship Contest in association with Top Rank Incorporated, live and exclusively on Sky Sports Box Office, with sponsorship from Daffabet, Lonsdale, and StubHub. Sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge for this contest, John Reese QC. And the International Boxing Federation, supervisor at ringside, Lindsay Tucker. The three judges assigned are, from the United States, Adelaide Bird. From England, Dave Paris. From Canada, Craig Smith. And the man in charge of the action at the bell, your referee from South Africa, Dion Duarte. And now, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white and gold, official weight, eight stone, 13 pounds, three ounces. As a professional, an excellent record consisting of 20 victories, including eight wins by knockout with one defeat. He's the former British and British Empire champion, former European and international champion, the challenger, the featherweight, Fighting Bride of Barry Wales, Lee Selby! And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and red, official weight, nine stone even. In 20 professional fights, 19 victories, including nine wins by knockout, with one draw tonight. He defends his title for the fifth time. From Russia and Oxnard, California, the reigning, defending, undefeated IBF featherweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Dami Gaspada, Damas y Caballeros, El Russo Mexicano, Yevgeny. This is it. Lee Selby's entire professional career has been building to this point. The gum shield put in by Tony Borg, his trainer. Can he now take that next step and join an elite band of Welsh world champions? There have been 11, a lot of them, some of the legends of the game. Can Lee Selby make it 12? And the first from Barry as well. Standing in his way, the champion, the very busy, industrious Russian, Yevgeny Gradovich. Selby looking to establish that jab early to try and keep Gradovich at range, and that's going to be one of the keys, because if you allow Gradovich, Jim, as you've already said, to swarm all over you, you are in big trouble. Yeah, that's the reason I think Selby has to throw solid punches at Gradovich. Popping and moving is not going to do any good here. This guy's just going to come right through that. But these are good shots that Selby's throwing at the moment. He's been caught a couple of times himself already. I thought Gradovich was more of a slow starter, you know, and then build momentum as he goes along. But this is good from Selby. Get the meat behind the, the, the jab. Keep this fellow at long range as long as you can. Mixing up a couple of jabs to the body as well as Gradovich looks to try and get in close and Selby does a nice job of just tying him up so he can't do any constructive work. Gets a little telling off from the South African referee for doing that. And that was neat from Selby, keeping right out of trouble here in the early stages. But this is good, Selby's getting his punches off while he's out in the centre of the ring. He wants to stay away from the ropes. Against a pressure fighter then you, you want to get your work done when there's a couple of escape routes, routes for you. That's what Selby's doing. This is a good start from him. And lots of variety as well, mixing in some uppercuts. Really confident. Very positive start, this, from Lee Selby. But uh, Gradovich came back, landed a right of his own. Now, this is an excellent start from Selby. He's maybe working a little bit harder than he had planned, but he's just going to have to take what comes his way here. He's not going to be able to control the pace against this fellow, so he's just going to have to get on with the job. 
Well, last time out in this ring against the Aussie, Joel Bronker, who had a similar come-forward style, Selby just took that away from him and it became very, very one-sided. It's going to be a tougher job to achieve that here. Then go back a couple of years, Jim. Remember that open air show in Hull when he struggled against the Romanian VRL Simeon? When I mean, he broke a hand early in that fight, that made a difference, but Simeon made it hard for him with a very similar style. No, I mean, this is like target practice at the moment for Selby. This is terrific stuff from Lee Selby. Gradovic is, is moving into range but not getting his punches off. A dream start for Selby. Well, that is the thing with Gradovic. Selby is not going to have to go hunting for him, he's always going to be there. And we're used to seeing Gradovic wear down opponents. Are oh, we going to see Selby wearing down Yevgeny Gradovic tonight? Well, I'm happy with the way Selby started. I'm happy with the fact that he's putting snap into the punches. And even when he well, got back good. there, he came up with a terrific response. Confidence just oozing from Lee Selby. He actually can't miss Gradovic. Gradovic is just walking straight forward. We said his style was made for Selby. Well, we can underline that now. He's a disappointed man. Smith of Hursley. Nothing wrong from less boxing. Smith of Hursley. Don't engage in him. Keep it long all the time. Make him look like no, nothing in there. And a novice. Use the ring. Make him look like a novice. Nearly wrong, yeah? I'm sorry, yeah. All the sessions are going to land and back him up. Sorry. Smash him up. That's your right. All right. Now, now watch the left up. Try and roll out. Roll out to the right. Yes, step to your right. Then put the right hand over his jab. Okay. It's a gap there all the time, isn't it? Bring that jab back low. Step to your right, right hand over the top. You know when you're ready. And then move up again. And again. Somebody boxing. Simple. Keep it simple. Well, you heard what Tony Borg said. Lovely boxing. Keep it simple. Well, Nick, I don't care how tough Gradovic is. Yeah. Tony Borg said, lovely boxing. Keep it simple. Well, Nick, I don't care how tough Gradovic is. No one can keep coming forward, taking these punches as cleanly as he was caught in the opening round. He's going to have to get some head movement. He's going to have to find a way to get close without using his face to get there. Round two of this 12-rounder. Lee Selby in the white with the gold trim. Looking to land the IBF featherweight title, just slipping in a body shot there as well, continuing to mix it up so effectively. Gradovic never sure where the point of attack is coming from. And trying to get a little bit of upper body movement and head movement here now, Gradovic, because as you say, he was getting banged around in that opening session. Well, you can see his face as he went back to the corner. He knew nothing had gone right for him in the opener. He's finding the range a little bit better now. And it's going to take a lot to wear down Selby as well if he does start landing punches, Gradovic, because he takes a terrific punch, Selby. Very few land clean, but uh, with all the stories in sparring about he goes in with heavyweights. And there he says, never been knocked down, never taken account as a pro. Terrific still, chin. Still good stuff from Selby. We're beginning to see what Gradovic is about now. You know, I mean, he's used to taking shots to get his own on. So he won't be in the least upset by the, the, the poor first round, and you can see he's on fire now. A little bit clumsy, a little bit untidy. Selby keeping his boxing together, which is good. And before we hang out the Welsh flags in celebration, just remember what Paulie Malinagi said upstairs in the studio. It's all very well making the start, but Gradovic, you know, will be coming at you every minute of every round. How's Selby going to be rounds 9, 10, 11? The only problem I see for Selby is he's been made to work, he's complaining the heads came together there, he's been made to work harder than he wants, harder than he's used to, and this is the way Gradovic does business, but this is lovely stuff again from Selby. A little bit of blood from the nose there of Lee Selby, as the heads came together. He's been doing a lot of his sparring with a stablemate, Gary Buckland, and if you've ever seen Gary fight, you'll, you'll, you'll recognise the style. I mean, he, he did a perfect job of replicating Gradovich's relentless come-forward pressure. Did some work in the Mayweather gym, of course, spent a couple of weeks in LA. Beautiful shot, what a sweet left hand from Selby, pure class. Yes, a smile back from Gradovich. We're beginning to see Gradovich is certainly getting closer. This is another good round for Selby so far. Ah, uh, this is lovely. Well, Gradovich has tried to up the ante in this round and he's just getting picked off even more clinically than he was in the opening session. Selby looking for the body shot there, yeah, which is also good tactics, take some of the steam out of this fellow. 
and doing a nice job covering up when Granovic looked to try to go to work. Tumbling, in again. Coming so far with that one, yep. Well, we're only two rounds in as Granovic lands a couple on the bell, but so far, very good for Lee Selby. Well, I think Selby realises this is going to ha this is going to be a tough night for him. He's going to have to work hard to win this world title. This fellow will not stop coming forward. He's a bit crude in the early stages, but we know it, it comes on like a train in the second half of a fight. Yeah, Granovic isn't finished yet. Far from it. But Selby, without question, two rounds in the bank, but here comes Gradovich once again, and he will, as Pauli Malinaji said, and everyone who's ever seen him fight, no, he will just keep coming. It's still good for Selby, he's not been pinned down at any time, he's not been caught in corners, he's, he's, his back's hardly touching the ropes, he's getting his punches off nice and early. I'm just worried about the fact this is not the pace he likes to work at. He likes to work in little bursts, likes to pick his moments. You know, sometimes you think he's half asleep, then he bursts into life. He's not used to working every second of every round, and that's what he's been made to do here. But they knew that when this fight was made as well, Jim, and this is what they've been preparing for. He's not been getting it easy in sparring. His footwork at the moment is absolutely terrific. Nice little left-hand counter there as well. And the lace has uh, come loose in there. That was a nice, clever little left uppercut. Uh, Gradovich looking at the corner. His corner is suggesting uh, he, he tries something different. I would do the same. He's getting marked up under the right eye as well, Gradovich. I'm not sure Yevgeny Gradovich is a plan B guy, you know, Jim. Uh, it, you know, this is his style, this is what he does, and if it doesn't work, what on earth is he going to do? Caught again with a big right hand, but still Granovic comes after him. Yeah, as I say, Nick, what you see is what you get. He's going to do this, but he can do it at 12 rounds non-stop. A lovely stuff again from Selby, clever stuff. It's absolutely brilliant this from Selby at the moment. And really, the only question, here we are in round three, the only question, can Selby keep this going? And if he can, can he force the stoppage? That was low. shot, but uh, the referee decided to give him the benefit. Yeah, using the right hand as well, you know, a fair old amount too. It's good, he's not just kind of fiddling with the jab. Really, boxing well, Selby. And nothing in Granovic's record that suggests that Selby needs to be overly concerned about his power. It is the accumulation, not the single punch. And then the distance, Granovic with Mauricio Munoz, who a year later was stopped by Stephen Smith. I'm not a nosebleed there for Granovic as well, I think now. Not a surprise, he's still walking on to these straight punches of Selby. And no real signs of discomfort in the early stages from Selby. He's, made, he's been made to work. But doesn't oh, look oh, 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 again. All the quality coming from Lee Selby here. And still Granovic comes back at him. Oh, got it. Left hand from Granovic. Selby took it well, rode it. But Granovic still in there fighting. Breathe him down here, nice and long. Punch your eyes. Good, good work. Yeah, nice long deep breath. Split, split the first one, you are. Split that. Right. Split the first one. Good then have a drink now, right? Lovely boxing. All you've got to do is stick this simple boxing. It's been a happy hunt. 
hunting ground this, the O2 Arena for Lee Selby. Last time out, as I say, beat Joel Brunker to earn this shot. Before that, he was made to work a little bit against Ryan Walsh, defending his British title, and uh, Granovich is certainly making, making him work for this one tonight as well. But now these are good punches he's throwing. These are not just pop and move shots. You know, there's a bit of meat behind these. Tactics are perfect at the moment. So far, so good. Three rounds in the bank for Lee Selby, the champion, Yevgeny Granovich. Still coming at him. Granovich owned by the, or represented by the same management team that looks after Vasil Lomachenko. There's been the whispers of a unification fight with uh, the WBO champion. That all goes out the window if Selby takes the title here. Still getting his punches off nice and early, Selby. He's not been manoeuvred, he's, you know, he's not been trapped in corners yet. Oh, lovely again. Keeps doing that, doesn't he? I'd like to see some body work, maybe try and knock some of the steam out of Gradovich, because he's going to keep coming, this is what he does. Again, a nice chopping left hook. You know, that was a solid left hook, and Gradovich came right through it, Nick. So, he's tough. No question about that. So I'll be briefly on the ropes, and then just glides away. Granovic continuing to just send out volume in the hope that something lands and turns things, but keeps walking onto these punches as well. Well, the referee has allowed them to get on with it, which is good. That's the first time, really, he's broken up the action. Now, Gradovic getting close at the moment. And Selby so far coping with the pressure, but if anything, Gradovic is turning up the heat here in this fourth round. He's had his moments in this round. Selby still boxing well, still getting enough punches off. But uh, no question, Gradovic uh, beginning to have his moments. And that's the thing, Gradovic will be doing this in rounds 10 and 11 and 12 as well. He's not going to slow. And the telling off from Gradovic, and Selby made sure the referee knew about it, but he was on it already. I still like Selby, but this certainly has been a closer round. Oh, he's just muttering something to himself there. Not sure what that was. See, this is where maybe he should stand his ground and put some real snap into the punches. You know, he's moving while he's punching at the moment, Selby, so there's not the same snap. Maybe he needs to set himself and let a good solid right hand go. Here at the O2 for this terrific bill. We've already seen plenty of drama and excitement. And now we're into the first of our world title fights. That round for me, Jim, closer, much closer. Yeah, it was close, but I still like Selby, you know, with work like this. Still the clever stuff coming from him. But I think it's time maybe now just to set himself and let a couple of real solid shots go. There's the heads coming together as well. Round five. Granovic continuing to try and hunt Selby down. Selby happy on the back foot, showing really good movement, lots of variety, but Granovic looking to try and swarm all over him now. And Selby, as you say, has got to stand up to this. Tagged him with the left hand there, Granovic, as well. And he's trying to make this ring really small here, Granovic.
Uh, Granovic is finding the target now. Yep. Doesn't mind missing with punches, he doesn't try to be too precise, Granovic. Just lets them go in bunches. First couple might miss, but here come the, the rest of them. Right. Real pressure now that Selby's under. Real pressure, but not much quality there from Granovic. Selby covering up, blocking. But so many getting thrown, Jim. Just the law of averages, something's got to get through. I don't know that we'll ever see a lot of quality from Gradovich. You know, he just gets the chin down and gets the punches flowing. Uh, what in the body himself? Uh, see, he's... No matter, you know, even when he's off balance, he still manages to get some punches off uh, Gradovich. He's just perpetual motion. And for all these quality little shots that Selby's just popping out there, I think of some of those left hooks in the, some of the earlier rounds. Bangs in the body shots, nice right hands to the body, there's another one. Hasn't made a big dent in Gradovich yet, he takes a punch well. I think there's going to come a time when Selby's going to have to see if he can push Gradovich back, don't know if he can do it. But this, uh, this looks like a fight that's going to get tougher the longer it goes. Good stuff there from Selby. in there, Gradovich, and paid the price. Oh, is that a first sign of tiredness from the Russian? Tiredness, frustration, uh, whatever, yep. So no, nothing clean there from Gradovich. Yeah, but, so, uh, so much energy getting burned up here as well by Gradovich, just so little return. But the thing about pressure, Nick, when you're the one exerting the pressure, you, you know, your last better is when you're having to react to, you know, to constant pressure that it drains your energy. But Selby's still looking comfortable. Looking to attack the body once again. Radovic continuing just to bomb away. He'll get another telling off now for hitting around the back of the head. More signs of frustration on the bell <laughs> for the champion. We don't want to get points taken away, okay? Bring your head down. Robert Garcia has looked after Granovich's career. Okay. Beautiful. Deep breath. Deep breath. You feel good? You feel in good condition? Then I need some more in this next fucking six, seven round. All right? And apologies for the language. Garcia doesn't sound too uh, perturbed, Jim. No, well, Selby did well in the last half minute of the round. They found his range again. The Gradovich throwing a lot of punches, you know, like that there, then it back he comes again. We know he is expending a lot of energy. That's maybe the best round uh, for Gradovich so far. Round six. This IBF featherweight title absolutely flying by. Lee Selby. Looking to join that elite group of Welsh world champions on course at the moment. Still a long, long way to go. Oh, that's but beautiful. Really, really continuing to show class and quality here, Lee Selby. This is what I'm calling for, Nick. Solid punches. Let this fellow know you're the puncher in there. If he could possibly try and push him back. Don't know if he can do it. But if he could, that would go a long way to tilting the scales well in his favour. Jim, if he pushes Gradovich back, it's over. Because there's no way he's boxing on the back foot. For me, Jim, I know you're a little bit concerned. For me, Selby is still in charge of this. Yeah, these are, these are lovely punches from Selby. You know, he, he's finding space for himself all the while. Good lateral yeah. movement, that's what's Foot, needed. Footwork's just outstanding. Maybe it's something to do with those laces coming undone all the time. <laughs> But really, I've been so impressed with his movement, his footwork, his vision, the upper body movement. Just those errant laces, the only thing that's gone wrong for him tonight so far. And still looking very comfortable, well within himself, composed, organised. And he's shaking him. And he's, he's shaking him. And the crowd sense it as well, and Granovic looking to try and get in and hold if he can. Selby won't have it. 
The Serb will just take his time because there'll be plenty of opportunities. This guy has no defence. Don't go rushing, just take your time here. Definitely unsteady on the legs, and I don't think he's 100% yet here. Granovic just misses with the big uppercut, Selby. Now that punch caught him in the temple, and it just took everything away from him. The, the legs are still looking a bit heavy. Tagged him again. Little tiny wobble there from Granovic, who takes another right hand as well. And Selby is picking his punches beautifully here. And Granovic not chugging forward as much as he was earlier. He's feeling this now. And Selby's right to take his time, Nick, because this guy is not difficult to find. Just pick your spot, take your time. Don't waste punches, don't waste energy. This is what I've been looking for, just Selby to stand his ground and you get the power in the shot, it's terrific. This is just different class from Lee Selby. He looks a world beater, he really does. Well, mate, I was saying that you cannot keep coming forward, taking clean punches, and that's what Gradovic has been doing. So maybe it's a, just the accumulation of shots, but that was a terrific right hand that caught him high in the head. So we're missing there, but it's been another terrific round for him. Oh, a couple have been close on your card, Jim, but for me, Selby pitching a shutout here and the gap between them just getting wider and wider. And look at this, Gradovic is backing up. And if he's going backwards, forget about it. <laughs> Terrific round for Lee Selby and Gradovic almost staggered back. Well, let's go and uh, join Ed Robinson, who's with Paul Smith. Ed. Well, a masterclass so far from Lee Selby. Is he right to try and back Yevgeny Gradovich up now, or should he stick with the strategy of just winning the fight? For me, first world title fight, I'd stick with the strategy that he's got of just chipping away and gradually breaking Gradovich down. He's doing very, very well so far. He's boxing lovely, to be honest with you. And maintain that, keep that up. Don't take too many unnecessary gambles because all Gradovich can try and do is to grind you down and to get to you and to slowly start chipping away at you. So keep doing what you're doing. Don't let him grind you down. Don't let him get close to you. And if you catch him with another shot the way he did in the previous round, then maybe try and go for him. But I thought that was very smart and educated by Selby and by not rushing in too much and stick to the plan. Thank you, Paul. Second round, round seven. Round seven, Lee Selby a mile ahead. Boxing brilliantly, taking his time, wasting nothing, nailing him early here with a raking right hand, then catching him with a left-hand counter, and Gradovic has got bravery and heart and energy and not much else. And I tell you what a confidence that builder that was hurting with the right hand. There I have it, uh, five rounds to one, as you can see. I thought Gradovic outworked Selby a couple of rounds ago. But uh, he's paid him back in spades. Yeah, absolutely. I've got him again, beautiful combination. And then look at that, daylight. Gradovich has to come and hunt him down, there's the big uppercut. Remember it was the uppercut that did for Stephen Smith all those years ago. I remember Paul Smith's reaction that night, absolutely devastated. And talking to Paul about a year ago, he said, you know what? Looking back, we were all shattered at the time, but we didn't know how good Selby was. Nobody knew. We all know now. See, I think the trouble now for Gradovic, the, the, the amount of punches he's taken, they knock the energy out of you, his legs are looking heavy, you know, he doesn't have the drive that he used, usually I mean, he has, and he doesn't know why. As well. no, the heads, I think he, he was claiming the heads came together, That's, he's, there's nothing wrong there. But no, he's heavy-legged, he lacks energy, I think it's been knocked out of him. I see this, that actually caused a cut, the, the, the heads came together there and I can see the blood. Round about yeah. his right eye. That's exactly it. That's exactly what he was complaining about. And what else is going to go wrong for Gradovic? Who's been forced onto the back foot occasionally as well in the last couple of rounds. Oh, a big swinging left hand, and that cut's horrible. It really is a bad one. Well, well, don't worry too much. We don't want it to go to the cards, of course. I mean, this is terrific to watch. Oh, that's terrific stuff it again really is. It, it's, from Selby. This it, is a master class right enough. Yeah, uh, you've just took the word right out of my mouth. And that cut, absolutely horrendous. It's the kind of cut that does need a stoppage sometimes. Selby missing, but then getting out of range again very quickly. Got caught with that left hand, though, and then quickly just jumped in and held. 
spoiled and the moment was gone for Gradovich who really? continues to work as we expected has raised his game Gradovich yeah, yes. has. he's found a little bit this of energy is... here maybe the head's cleared well, he's, he's on the march again but he's a tough not man. producing tough tough man isn't he lovely little body shot it's almost too easy this for Selby it's almost like a sparring session for him Well, the only, the only worry we had was how we would cope with the pressure, and it's not been a problem to him. And now that he started putting the meat into Nailed the him punches... Again with that right hand, then the body shot at the end of it, and what are they going to do with that cut? Dion Duarte sends him to his corner, and he was really pointing towards it as if to say, this needs some attention. And when you think that the man is a mile behind on the cards, even though he is the defending champion, if they can't get that under control, Jim, will they call a halt to this one? No, I wouldn't have. Not a chance of that happening. Not a chance, Nick. This fellow will go. If he's gone out, he's gone out on his sleeve. The accuracy of Selby's work right from the opening bell. Terrific body shots. What a good time now to sink them in downstairs. A tough, grueling fight in the body shots. That's the last thing you need. We'll see what kind of job he's corner do with the cut. But these are beautiful punches from Lee Selby. The performance of his life so far. Well, they've got that cut under control, it would seem. And it is to the side of the eye, which is the good news for Gradovich. And we are looking for crumbs of good news for the champion. Because there's been precious little else for him to get excited about here as the action continues. Every mistake Gradovich makes, he's punished for it. Every time he comes into range and doesn't get his punches off quick enough, he's caught with a lead. He got caught with a the left there as well, but a tape coming loose on one of the gloves from Gradovich. But Selby continuing just to lump these big, big shots. And Gradovich just not able to get out of the way of everything. Absolutely beautiful stuff again from Selby. Yeah, again, Gradovich showing his toughness, but these punches are catching him too cleanly, and they're just knocking the resistance out of him. Well, if it carries on like this, it's going to be one heck of a party in Barrytown tonight. And timeout's been called. They're going to have another look at this cut. Selby sent to a neutral corner. And I think there's more damage done. I think there must be because, uh, I mean, it didn't look so serious a cut. You know, at the end of the previous the round. It's, it's over the eye. Yeah, and, and another one. I tell you, the doctor kind of shaking his head there. This might be done. I think this might be done. The doctor's yeah. saying it's over, and it is. A star is born. Lee Selby. We wondered if it was going to be the real deal. We got our answer tonight. Absolute masterclass, close to perfection. Well, I don't know how they're going to decide on this. Will it go to this, the cards? It doesn't matter whether it goes to the cards or not. He is the new champion. I don't know if it was a clash of heads that caused the second cut, then it will go to the cards. But, uh, but that's a whatever, that's whatever, a of course it? it is, whatever happens is... Lee Selby is the new champion and he's with a performance of his life. Outstanding it was from start to finish tonight. He was totally outstanding. Absolutely brilliant. He's on the shoulders of Tony Borg, his trainer there. And worth pointing out that Tony has been with him from the start. It's his first world champion too. So a real terrific night. Well, officially it's going to go to the cards, of course, but a formality. What a night. Well, there it is. That's the one that you can just see the cut there over the left eye. And that's a different game, because that's going to bleed into the eye. Well, he's joined an elite group, hasn't he? Jimmy Wilde, Jim Driscoll, Freddie Welsh, Percy Jones from the old days, and post-war Howard Winston, and more recently Robbie Regan, Steve Robinson, Joe Calzaghe, Enzo Maccarinelli, Gavin Reese, Nathan Cleverley. Now add Welsh champion number 12, Lee Selby, who has battered and bludgeoned Yevgeny Gradovich to take the IBF featherweight title. What a performance, one that we will remember for a long, long time.
confirmation that it is going to go to the cards, of course, as the damage was caused by a head clash. But surely there can be no issue here whatsoever. Jim, I think you gave Gradovich one round, I didn't. It's just a question of how wide these cards are going to be. The cards that will have been tallied by Dave Paris, Adelaide Bird from the United States and Craig Smith of Canada. So we wait to officially launch the celebration party. But Yevgeny Granovich, I'm sure, knows that his reign is over. And a new and very exciting reign has just begun. And already we can look ahead. Look at some of the champions out there. Gary Russell, the WBC champion. Nicholas Walters, would anybody want to go in with him? Vasyl Lomachenko, the WBO champion, likewise. It's a big, big nights ahead for Lee Selby. It was fulfilled a dream tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Referee Dion Duarte, acting on the advice of the ringside physician, calls a halt to the contest one minute into round number eight. The injury was caused by an accidental headbutt, so we go to the scorecards, including the one minute of round number eight. The scoring is as follows. Dave Paris scores it, 79, 73. Adelaide Bird has it, 80 to 72. And Craig Smith scores it, 79-73, to the winner by unanimous technical decision. And new IBF featherweight champion of the world, the fighting pride of Barry Will Lee. Don't forget that name, Lee Selby.